Hi guys, happy Friday, welcome to Gem Online. Today we are thinking about the part three of God's story. Have any of you ever been lost? As a child, I remember going to a bonfire and firework display with my family. And obviously it was before coronavirus ever existed. Um, and so there were lots of people, it was a really crowded place and people were milling around close together. And obviously it was dark because it needed to be dark to be able to see the fireworks. And so I was with my family, but people were bustling and jostling. And I thought, I'm a bit scared I might get lost here. So I had a really smart idea, I thought. I held on to my dad's trouser leg because I was quite little. So his trouser leg was about the right height for me to hold on to. And we walked all through the crowd together and it was fine. And when we stopped ready to watch the display, I looked up to make a comment to my dad. And shock horror, it wasn't my dad. Oh my goodness. I was, I went through every emotion under the sun. I was really shocked. I was so scared. And then suddenly I was panicked. I mean, I let go of this trails and leg and probably I screamed. I don't really remember. Um, and the feeling inside was awful because I was separated from the people that I loved and that I cared about. And I didn't know how I would get back to them. As it turned out, on this occasion, my family were really close by, just round, they just got pushed around a few other families and they were, and the man that I was holding onto his leg was a very kind man. He was a daddy too and had his children the other side of him and he helped me to find my mum and dad in, in just a few moments. But even in those few moments of being separated can feel really scary and just feels really horrible. You feel it in the pit of your tummy down here. And in our story last week, we were thinking about Woody from Toy Story 2 and he had been separated from Andy because he got broken. His arm was broken and he got put up on that high shelf, didn't he? And that's where we left him and he was feeling really sad because he couldn't go off with Andy to play and to school and things like that. But his story was about to get even worse. You see, they decided to have a yard sale, which is a funny American word, but it's a bit like having a car boot sale. But instead of going off in your car somewhere, you just put toys and things that you don't you want to sell outside the front of your house. And that's what they decided to do. They put all the things that they didn't want anymore um, outside the front of their house and to sell. And Woody accidentally got put out on the table to be sold. Now, luckily, when the man came along and said, oh, I'd like to buy Woody, please. How much for that? Mum realised the mistake and put Woody to one side, said, oh, no, it's been a mistake. He's not for sale. However, unfortunately, Al, the character who wanted to buy Woody, was kind of the baddie in Toy Story 2. He decided to abduct Woody and take him anyway without permission. And at that point, Woody got taken off to Al's toy barn where Al was. And he was separated from Buzz, from all the other toys. And worst of all, he was separated from Andy, his little boy who loved him. And Woody felt awful. He was panicked. He was trying to work out a way to get back. And he, he was just absolutely terrified. It's kind of the low point of the movie. Um, and that's where we're going to leave him at the moment. But we'll find out more next week what happened in the end, if you haven't seen the movie. Um, and now Woody was separated, but it was no fault of his own. He had done nothing wrong. He'd been damaged. He was broken. And he got separated, but he hadn't done anything wrong. And sometimes that happens to us in our life because people move away or um, people leave. Sometimes people die and we're separated from them. And at the moment, because of coronavirus, we're all separated from our friends and our family and our loved ones because of the lockdown. And that's not our fault whatsoever, but we can still feel like we really miss them. And it's a horrible feeling that we're separated from them. And I'm separated from you guys at Jam because we can't be together. But then there are other times where we become separated because of something we do, do, we do ourselves that is our fault. And that's what the Bible calls sin. It might be that we've been unkind to our friends so they don't want to play with us anymore. Or it might be that we've actually been a bit mean or unfair or done something wrong and we can't be with the people because of it, our friends because of it. Um, and the Bible calls that, when we've done it on purpose and it's our fault, they call that sin. And that's what happened to Adam and Eve last week 
we were thinking about the fact that Adam and Eve took the fruit that God had told them not to. And because of that, their relationship with God was broken. But where we left the story, we didn't actually find out the full consequences. And that's what I'm going to read for you now. I'm going to recap a little bit. So some of this will be what we already heard last week. And then I'm going to read on and find out what happened next. So then the man and the, his wife heard the sound of the Lord God as he was walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And they hid from the Lord God among the trees of the garden. But the Lord God called to the man, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden and I was afraid because I was naked. So I hid. And he said, God said, who told you that you were naked? Have you eaten from the tree from which I commanded you not to eat? The man said, the woman you put here with me, she gave me some fruit from the tree and I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the woman, what is this that you have done? The woman said, the snake deceived me and I ate. So the Lord God said to the snake, because you've done this, cursed are you above all livestock and all wild animals. You will crawl on your belly and you will eat dust all the days of your life. And I will put enmity between you and the woman and between your offspring and hers. He will crush your head and you will strike his heel. To the woman, he said, I will make your pains in childbearing very severe. With painful labour, you will give birth to children. Your desire will be for your husband and he will rule over you. To Adam, he said, because you listened to your wife and ate fruit from the tree about which I commanded you, you must not eat from it. Cursed is the ground because of you. Through painful toil you will eat food from it. All the days of your life it will produce thorns and thistles for you and you will eat the plants of the field. By the sweat of your brow you will eat your food until you return to the ground. Since from it you were taken, for dust you are and to dust you will return. Adam named his wife Eve because she would become the mother of all living things. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. And the Lord God said, The man has now become like one of us, knowing good and evil. He must not be allowed to reach out his hand and take also from the tree of life and eat and live forever. So the Lord God banished him from the Garden of Eden to work the ground from which he had been taken. After he drove the man out, he placed on the east side of the Garden of Eden cherubim and a flaming sword flashing to and fro to guard the way to the tree of life. Wow. So there were consequences. There was bad things happened because of the sin that Adam and Eve committed because they ate that fruit. God banished them. He said they had to be separate from God. He couldn't be with them anymore. They couldn't just walk and chat in the garden. They couldn't access the beautiful garden that they had been living in and they couldn't eat from the lovely fruit that they had been eating the tree instead they had to work they had to become farmers and grow their own food so it was bad that they couldn't be in the garden but worse than that they couldn't be with god and it was they says that it says in the bible that he put an angel with a flaming sword flashing to and fro so there was no way they could get back in and that must have been a horrible horrible place for them to be in now, we know that already at that point, God had a rescue plan and that things didn't remain that way forever. Because of Jesus and what he did on the cross, we now have a way back to be able to be with God. But Adam and Eve didn't know that. At that point, they were lost and banished and separated forever. And for a long time, the whole of the Old Testament, people no longer had direct access to God because of that one thing that they did pretty awful isn't it but I don't want to end it there next week and the week after we are going to look at God's rescue plan so we will move on to that um, and I want to leave you with a positive verse okay because of what Jesus did it says in Romans who shall separate us from the love of Christ Romans 8 verse 35 so we know that because of Jesus we can never be separated from God again